Hey, it's fig season, so I wanted to show you three figs that are often sold in stores. You can see here we have the green ones, which uh, are called Calimara. Actually, I don't know how to pronounce it, but for lack of a better description, these are the green figs. And then we have brown figs. We also have uh, black figs, and they're all delicious. Uh, I particularly like the green ones. Um, it's counterintuitive that they um, are sweet and ripe when they are still green. Um, actually, with all the figs, you want to wait till they're kind of uh, squishy. So you see how that's nice and squishy? I even grab the ones that everyone doesn't take because they're sort of, see this one is sort of glistening, like this sort of jam that comes out of a fig is, um, is coming through the skin. And that's a sure sign that it is ready to eat. Ready to eat. And uh, I can assure you this is jam. I mean, look, you can see it. It's just like jelly. It's natural jelly. So you just eat this and it's got tons of little micro seeds in it and um, I, I guarantee you'll find it delicious. I don't know if you can hear me eating in the background. When you're eating a fig, you eat the whole thing. I mean, I opened it up to sort of show you what's inside um, and it should actually separate a little bit easier than this. This could be a little more squishy, but you would eat the whole thing. You just sort of hold the edge right here, hold this thing, and you could um, not necessarily eat the whole thing, but just sort of bite into it. As you can see, I just took a big bite out of it. And I ate the whole thing, you know, the skin and everything. So I think, you know, it's a little odd for people who are used to eating apples, which are very hard, or cucumbers. Um, this is a little more squishy. Um, but, uh, you know, once you get used to it, you'll uh, adore it. If you get a bunch of them, like I have here, um, and they're not, you know, some of them aren't as sweet as others, or, you know, just let them ripen a bit more. You know, I could eat this one, have a bite of it, and then if it's not as sweet as I expected, uh, wait till the next day to eat more of them to allow them to ripen a little bit more. Uh, but you don't want to wait too long because they can, of course, go bad just like any other fruit. When you buy them at the store, don't put them in a bag. As you can see here, I sort of took these little cake, these little cartons with me from the store because if you put them into a bag, it, they might sort of ripen rapidly in the bag on your way home. Uh, so I always do this. I'll put a bag actually around these, but something, I guess, just having the bag tight around the figs is not a good approach. So I like to put them, keep them in these little containers and then put a bag around it. Um, it is a short fig season. It's sort of, I think, two months, maybe three. Usually, uh, at least at the sort of nationwide stores, the figs come from California, but farmers markets or local markets also have figs. The fig tree can really, can grow through the winter, not harsh winters, the sort of milder or medium winters the fig trees can go through. So I say, it, you know, in the southern part of the United States or mid to southern, you will uh, find locally grown figs. So really check it out. They're delicious. They got a lot of vitamins in them as with all fruit, but uh, they only come around a certain point in the year. Uh, so enjoy fig season and get them while you can.